The early 1900s, filled with imported fashion, music, and dances from Europe. During this time, music had a unique blend of European and African-American influences from native music called Ethiopian melodies. It resulted in syncopated ragtime music. Move over, flappers, because before they're considered scandalous dancing, there were the animal dances. As ragtime became more widely accepted, the previous two-step dancing seemed boring. So along came the turkey trot, the grizzly bear, camel walk, chicken scratch, and the bunny hug. The upper class was not a fan of these dances, and by 1910 the phrase, everybody's doing it, was circulating. The song, Everybody's Doing It Now, released in 1911 by Irving Berlin, was described as his attempt to exploit the dance craze by, quote, writing a generic dance with a deceptively casual title. But Berlin denied such statements. However, the upper and middle class were all talk. They were not doing anything. It was seen as a lower class dance, and well, they just weren't a group of fun individuals. But that's just our opinion. Irene and Vernon Castle debuted these American variations of dance in a Parisian club in 1911, and it was a hit. The locals loved it, and when they came back to New York, it began spreading quickly. They were seen as a respectable couple, and now everybody was doing it. These dances promoted closer-than-usual embraces and, dare we say, touching? Footwork consisted of trotting, hopping, flicks, kicks, and abrupt stops. It still had a stigma of being inappropriate, and so much so that it was rumored President Woodrow Wilson canceled the inaugural ball in 1913 for fears of turkey trotting or bunny hugging. The origin of these dances is still not confirmed. Some say it starts in San Francisco from Sayers or from the African-American community. Others claim it came from Native Americans hundreds of years prior. Perhaps it was a blend. However, this craze began to lose steam as World War I began and the shock factor of close-quarter dancing was replaced by bigger fear. 